Chat, I have here a collection of Dreamcast games. <laughs> this is a pack submitted by Brute Tigrex. And I have a number of obscure and weird games, many w I will not understand, and uh, some from Japan. So we're going to try our best to figure these out as we go. And maybe you can help me. This first one is called Cool Cool Tune. Now, I never had a Dreamcast growing up. But I've played some, you know, over the years on the stream, and I've grown to appreciate it. It's got a really interesting game library. And that isn't even counting semen. Which, yes, I will bring up the game semen every single time I play a Dreamcast game. So already we've got some great cartoon noises. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. We were just springing. So it says here, this is a rhythm game developed by SNK. One of the last company had developed for the Dreamcast. Cool characters and funky tunes. Chances are I'm gonna get the rhythm wrong because I don't have a Dreamcast controller. We'll see. Now, are the Ribbit King characters in this game? I kind of feel like they could be. that monster noise. That's a, I think that's a stock monster noise. It has been for many years. Ogre from Quake? Oh yeah. Who's that? What the hell is, what is this? This is like everyone on the team developed a different character and they just put them all together. And then there's that! Cool, cool tune! It's in the music. Cool, cool tune! I gotta press the right button. The rabbit who lives in my TV. Well, let's, uh, we, we've got a number of games here in this collection, so I'm only gonna spend maybe 10, 15 minutes on each. It's banjo Kazooie music? If he goes in the TV, that counts, chat. Remember. That still counts. Rabbit coming out of the TV also counts. This is an isekai. Icy guy. Welcome to this cartoon world. I teach you all these things. We dance, we fight, fight the dactyl. Unga bunga time. Laruba village no fight. Alright. Youch, ouch. 
You made it out. Good for you. The rabbit's talking to me. How rude. How rude. Calling me rabbit. I have a name and it's Jaja. Yusa. Yusa don't know anything about Jaja. Thanks to Yusa. <laughs> oh, fuck. My name is Amp. Not too shabby. Without further ado, welcome to Cool Cool Town. Everything's on the fritz, so now you dance. Uh, if you don't know how to dance, you get fucking killed. I'll show you how flirting works. Is that what was said? See what they're doing here. A little different, a little interesting. <laughs> Why is the Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors also in this game? Did it. Gambate. Goon chance? What do you mean goon chance? He didn't say goon chance, chat. No way. Oh, it does say. Oh, boon chance. Someone said, I see culture is in its goon arc right now. Yeah, you can joke about goon stuff and everyone loves it. I've learned that. I don't know how to get goon in Infinite Craft, though. Yellow Paint Goon Cave. Larry David Elmo. Taylor Swift Super Bowl. Uh... I think there was another one. Oh, Pussy and Bio, right? We did this earlier, but it's... Yep. It's only February. Yeah, we got a lot going on. I, I, it's so nice to live in current year. <laughs> You just jumped up 40 points in the YouTube algorithm with those keywords. Well, yeah, maybe, probably not. I think Goon Cave sets you back like 90 points. So in this game, you, you move. I don't think you're this human I need after all. I am human. I finally made my point. No matter how you look at it, you're a novice flitzer. Nope. You're stuck here. Isekai. TV set's broken. I'm not the craziest about rhythm games, but I do appreciate the style. 
and I appreciate the music. Um, this is not exactly my type of game, but for a Sunday stream, it's nice to check out for a little bit. I could maybe do one more song. I just, there were some fucking weird ass characters. So, the boy who howls at the sun. It's, uh, if you like, yeah, Guitaru Man or, like, Parappa the Rapper, you might enjoy this. But yeah, you're, you're just pressing that A button, boy. Hard mode is with Joy-Con drift. Uh-oh. I, I screwed up a little bit. And there's another function that you have to do, chat. If you don't know the music, you have to get used to the visual cues and learn what, you know, what is to come. It's, yeah, yeah, we're, we're certainly dancing. Nice, nicer, yeah. I don't really have a whole lot more to say about this game. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot more to see. I'm sure there's some some wacky songs and wacky characters and weird like meat monsters. Uh, maybe not meat monsters, but yeah, I mean it's fine for what it is. I I get it. I I wish I could. Oops, you didn't see that. I wish I could show you more. I wish I could show you a little bit more of the game. Uh, makes it. But, you know, for time constraint purposes, we'll move on to Cosmic Smash. Someone said in chat, I sold this game for fentanyl behind Target. Is fentanyl also the new humor? Is it like a new goon cave thing where you... Because I've been seeing a whole lot more of that lately. At least gooning is a little more harmless. Holy shit. Fent gooning. Oh, no. Yeah, that's, that's basically an infinite craft joke. Cosmic smash. Welcome Chad, I don't think I need to say this, smash. but only fools do fentanyl. Let's begin. And you go to hell before you die. Anyway, this is Cosmic Smash, and you... Wow. That's certainly future. One day you're going to be able to do this in virtual reality, chat. On the virtual boy. a map next level cosmic bus cosmic bus have a cosmic bus did 
Let's they made play. a VR sequel to this last year. I, I actually believe that. And was this a full price video game when it released? Uh... Well, it's kind of fucking hard to aim, truth be told. It's like the most 2000 game of all time. Like, someone should go back in time and show Stanley Kubrick this and be like, you want to know what 2001's going to be like? Well, it's pretty much this. But yeah, it's, it's kind of not easy to aim. I like how pathetic the announcer Next is. Level. Cosmic plus. Yeah, I guess so. Dun Dun. Mick Dun Dun, my favorite burger Let's joint. Begin. Let me see if there's other buttons, chat. Oh yeah, there's a jump button. There's a What is that? Holy fuck, you can charge up your shots like a piece of shit! Why would you need to, though? That's so confusing. Time's up. Oh. Game over. <gasps> Apathetic, not pathetic. Oh. <laughs> it seems there's a lot of levels in this game. Brought to you by Sega. Uh-huh. Welcome to Cosmic Smash. Let's begin. Yeah, it's just like an arcade game in 3D. I almost appreciate the audacity of it. Like, it just loads into a game and then... There you are. It's not... The controls are weirdly kind of, like, decent, because you, you can hit the ball even if you suck. But then actually, like, putting the ball where you need to Next is tough. Level. Cosmic bus. Have a blast. Let's begin. Wow, that, that took out all of the panels. If you hit with that shot, you can... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. But if you if you go full power, you're, you're also losing control of your balls. Next level. But there are gamer shots. Have a blast. Let's begin. It's really uh, fun to press the wrong button as much as I do. Really fun. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to always do that. I say always doing that. I most certainly did not need to use power shots for that. Your score is... Oh, Next when you use level. power shots, Cosmic bus. you you lose you use time. Have a blast. I understand now. Let's begin. <laughs> It took me that long to figure out that that was invincible. That's real cool of me. Your score is... 
I think, yeah, the VR version of something like this could be kind of fun for a little while. And if, you know, you need exercise. Have a blast. That's something. Let's begin. I don't know if it's going to replace your beat sabering or your beating off or whatever for exercise, but it's it's cool. Yes. With two seconds left. Next level. Cosmic bus. Seven five seven. I really shouldn't have used all those power shots. Let's begin. I wanted to try spinning, that's a good trip. Game over. Chat, it's exactly... Uh, it's Pong. Next is... Um, Godzilla Generations. This game contains music from the films. If you're worried about that, I recommend playing the Time Attack mode, which has the original music. This was one of the Dreamcast's four launch titles. You play as one of five different Godzillas, including, at the time, brand new Godzilla USA. Destroy as many Japanese cities as you can in the given time. <clears throat> Godzilla USA is just the one with the Matthew Broderick film. Oh shit, no, we can't, we can't, we can't do that. Imagine trying to sleep watching a Godzilla movie. Wrong button. I quite liked uh, the Godzilla Minus One film. That was a good movie to watch in the theater. Really enjoyed it. Like a Godzilla, Godzilla. So this is a- oh my god, it's so- Godzilla! So this is a Dreamcast launch title, huh? What? The fuck is going on? Oh, it's tank controls, chat. Didn't GameCube also kind of launch with a uh, Godzilla game? Destroy all monsters melee? It wasn't like a launch game. I think it was uh, not... It was good. I liked it. I, it wasn't launched, but it was within the first, like, six months. Um... I am attempting to shoot lasers from my mouth. I have discovered how to do so. Well, it's more like, like a heat ray, I guess. I'm sure the keepers of the Godzilla lore are very upset with me for not saying the right name of that power. Atomic Breath, thank you, thank you. That makes sense, given that Godzilla was created by Oppenheimer. I mean, it makes for some cinematic, like, back shots, but the problem is the game itself is not Maybe I'm playing this wrong. I don't know. I'm just not having a lot of fun playing it. As cool as it looks. Like, you can't walk and use a Godzilla power at the same time. It's a very cinematic game. 
Can he move faster? I don't know. This is it. This is the game. Why is the map Daisy Dukes? The USA Godzilla is much faster, but you probably have to lock unlock him. So you can uh, destroy Madison Square Garden. I mean, as a display of uh, advanced 3D graphics on the Dreamcast, it's cool. Like, this would make for a good display in a store, but I have to say, I am not having fun playing this. Try story mode. I have been told that story mode has copyright music. And I've already had, just today, I had two of my videos blocked. Uh, two commercial chaoses are now blocked in multiple countries, and I... I think we may, ha we may have to cut out some stuff from them. So that's always fun. It was like Teenage Ninja Turtle. Um, Godzilla Generations Maximum Impact came out the next year. While te technically a follow-up to Godzilla Generations, this game is different in virtually every way, switching its genre to that of rail shooter. Most people find this to be much better than the original, myself included. I'm down for a better game. It's Godzilla. The visuals are nicer by a little bit. Well, maybe it's also because it's at night. Night always looks good. The, um... The music sounds like Sonic Adventure. <laughs> it does. Does it say Dell, but it's Delhi? I love that. I just so <laughs> just just a shot of Godzilla walking, roaring, game start. It's perfect. That's all you need. Osaka? I'm pretty sure I watched someone walk around Osaka. For a YouTube video that I enjoyed. It was Godzilla. Godzilla had a GoPro strapped to him and he was just walking around Osaka. I see. The roar is a bad idea. Because that, you, you get locked into a long fucking animation. There's a couple camera angles. There's a Godzilla, like, head... thing. Roar refills health. Oh, okay. Holy shit. Yeah, that's pretty cool.
so it being a rail shooter means you can't really move Godzilla too much. But it's, um, you know, the emphasis is on the shooting and the destruction. And it, and it works, man. I mean, it's much more fun to play than that other one. It's simple. You get combos. Um, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this looks more like a game than a tech demo. But, man, that Destroy All Monsters Melee game was fucking cool. I rented it. I didn't actually have it, but... And I was never, like, a big Godzilla guy. I knew, you know, the 1998 movie. Now I, I'm more cultured. I've seen two Godzillas since then. Maybe. Um... And it's fine. I enjoy it. I don't... You know, it's not my favorite thing ever. Kaiju stuff is fine. I'm down for a good one when there is a good one. And, uh... That said, though, that Godzilla game was cool. It was like a fighting game. I remember one time I got really into dinosaurs as a kid. And I asked my dad to go rent me a dinosaur game from Blockbuster Video. And, uh, he got me a Sega game. And I didn't have Sega. No, I'm talking, this is like 1991 or 2. So I, I had the Super Nintendo and I had regular Nintendo and that was it. So then he went back and got me like a Godzilla game. And I didn't understand what Godzilla was, but it, I don't think it was that great of a Godzilla game. I think the NES Godzilla game was pretty... It's pretty rough. He tried? Well, no, I mean, I've disowned him because of that, still to this day. Vin, I think you've told this story three other times. I, I have been streaming for... Wait, maybe it wasn't. I have been streaming for 14 years, so I do tell a lot of the same stories, but I get details wrong because I do end up remembering the last time I remembered something. So it was either a Godzilla game or it was some weird NES game that was dinosaur adjacent. But I did play the Godzilla game on the NES and I, I didn't like it very much. Did your folks call cartridges tapes? I absolutely remember them calling video game cartridges tapes. Yes. Problem chat. Uh oh. Of course, my end would come from vines and poisonous vomit. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. I think I got saved by iframes. Hell. Yes. There's so many different kaijus in the Godzilla series universe, it's hard to keep track. I mean, this series has been around since the 50s? Someone said, I've never heard Vinny more enthusiastic than that yes, yes. Well, then you haven't watched me play B uh, Bloodborne.
the Gregorian chant techno music. <laughs> the fuck is going on? All right, we're going to move on to the next game. This is a solid game, though. For fans of the lizard, it does what it needs to do. It's very simple, but it's kind of effective. I wish Godzilla had more, like, things. Like, I kind of wish she could do more things. You just smash and you shoot. But that is definitely what he does. And I, we love him for it. Except for this next game called Lack of Love. Which apparently they don't, they don't love Godzilla. Uh, shortened to LOL. Vinny, you've played this? We'll find out. I couldn't find the English patch. Really don't think it would have helped. Um, little space creature with the goal to evolve. Okay, that's all I need. Uh, if I have, I don't remember it. So we'll take a look. You played like two minutes and moved on. I shall play two minutes and move on today as well. Lights with nipples on ships. Lol. Chat's making me think I'm very funny because they're all typing lol in chat right now. And I'm feeling really good about myself. This music is making me feel something. Oh wait, no, that's just gas. <laughs> Lol shirt. Wait, how long ago did I play this if I in fact did and that was real? at least three years ago. Maybe four or five? I gotcha, because I have no recollection of this whatsoever. Though, I, uh, there's a lot of screenshots that can be taken from this game to be used as LOL reaction images, so that I can appreciate. And the music is wonderful. Game is certainly taking its time. It's, you know, gongoing a little bit. What's my favorite David Fincher movie? Gongo? Gongo? Please laugh. Cool. 
creature. I like how this spaceship does not give a single fuck about anything below it. Ecological disaster ship reporting for duty. It fucks the ground it lands upon and laughs. So someone uh, in chat, a couple of people mentioned Spore. Look, even his feet say LOL. Um, people were mentioning Spore. Spore was not that many years after this game came out. Like s six years later? So, is this robot planning on destroying the environment? That's fine, I guess. Uh, for the record, I haven't played any of this game yet. And I still have no recollection of it. You played it in 2019. Quality Dreamcast Games Part 2. Looks like I started with it. And it looks like I skipped that cutscene. <laughs> I, I played way more than two minutes of it, chat. Okay, so I skipped a good chunk of that cutscene. But I did play this. Um, right. The thumbstick doesn't work. I should point out. Yet. So the robot guy is a villain? I think so. Loading times are pretty extensive. Um, now you can move around. A little bit. It's like you can piss. I'm surprised I kind of didn't remember this, considering how insane it is. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, chat. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Eat the red dots at the top of the screen. I don't, I don't understand. I'm not controlling the character again.
So the J.O. crystals have been shattered, and now the world is in peril, and only you and a band of three plucky squires can save the planet. <sighs> okay, now I can explore a little bit. Oh, I don't know when that robot is going to come, but he, uh, he was certainly a major feature of the first ten minutes of this game's intro. So, um, some pretty terrible controls. Like, you press a button and you're locked into an animation for 3-4 seconds. And they're very confusing animations. There's like no fluidity. The YouTube video was uploaded exactly 5 years ago to the day. You're shitting me. Oh my god, February 12th, 2019. What the fuck? It... Chat. Chat. That's... really weird. I'm not going to say I believe in ghosts now. It means you streamed it on February 11th. I mean, it was February 11th, an hour and eight minutes ago. Eh, close enough. Five years ago, amidst a leap year. Stop trying to ruin the magic of this moment. Just let the magic happen. Let let it flow through you. Believe, believe in miracles once again from when we were childs. We, we looked at the world with rosy eyes, and now we're all dull, cynical, uh, hurt, uh, meat. And so it is nice to once again view the world with some whimsy and fantasy. <laughs> I don't know how to play this game. I don't know what's going on. Check out the egg thing. It literally doesn't tell you anything. No, it doesn't. It doesn't fucking tell you anything. It just makes you, like, crawl. Boy, that's helpful. You need to help those creatures? I kind of don't want to. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where I'm- I'm starting to, like, get annoyed by this game. <laughs> it's- it is time to move on, yet again. Well, it, this is a rerun, but we got to see more of the cutscene, at least. And, uh, that was the best part. He unleashed his Federation droid army. And, um... And then we became a- a... Jellyfish thing. Now we're dancing? We'll try again in five years.
I think someone tried to tag me in a post. They said go to the crystal now. But they tagged Vine Sauce fan in chat and not me. Oh wait, 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 there's drippings. There's we got drippings. I guess you need to do three things, then you can light up the three crystals. I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Vine Sauce Fan 100k, can you go do that for me? This one is called Rainbow Cotton. Jeez, I wonder if I fucking played this now. Nope. I heard it too, chat. Rainbow Cotton! <laughs> Rainbow Cotton! Success! The Fairy Kingdom of Filament. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of room noise on that microphone. Did he jiggle? Did he jiggle? <laughs> Chad, is this a hentai game? <laughs> Only Link can save the kingdom. また大変なことが起きてしまいました。ラシャ城が魔物たちに襲われて占拠されてしまいました。ウィーローの生産のほとんどが。I is that a candy? That looked like a candy. <laughs> Ganon? Sailor Mustard? <laughs><笑><笑> <laughs> My favorite people are the people um, with, with those as their Twitter profile picture, and they tell you to check their bio. <laughs> Uh, how's side mouth? Side mouth. Cotton.今どこにいるの？それがわからないのよ。うん。そうだ。餌を使って捕まえましょう。え、餌？捕まえる？そう。<笑><笑> They love that wipe. It is oh, it is a candy. Where did get modern trash can from? Loudest game in all the kingdom. Holy shit, it's on 20% volume. I gotta go down to less.
chat, I I don't feel I don't feel good. I don't feel so good. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Why is the mouth off the face? I understand it's a stylistic choice. I'm just asking the questions here, chat. Everyone's what well, people are saying it's soul. Let's see. I'll draw my mouths off faces too. Really enjoying the soul of this video game I'm playing. <laughs> Cause boy, it's a lot of gameplay so far. Hideo Kojima would love this. Chat, what is- what is- oh, I thought we were gonna start the gameplay. <laughs> oh. Is this a dating sim? Is it a shmup? Is it- is it a fetish game? I don't know what the game is gonna be, Luigi! Hey, I'm gonna bet it's a shmup. Yep. Magical witch girl shmup. Actually looks nice visually once you get into the game. Like, I know that the, the anime has soul and everything and that's great, but... I'm just saying, gameplay-wise, it, it does look a lot nicer than I expected. It's got a really nice little art style. There's a Kirby kind of feel to it that I like. Um, but yeah, there's this reminds me of there's another magical girl on a broom game on the Switch that came out like really early in the Switch's lifespan that apparently was like fucking terrible. Oh, there's some... Uh-oh. This game series also had a release on the Switch. Wait, is this anime girl an actual witch? Or is this just a trope, riding a broomstick? Is is that something that is... common? In, in the anime world? Yes to both. This is also apparently a very long-running series. I need to know these things. Very important for my life. I, as a 38-year-old man, need this information so that I can be aware and informed in case a trivia question ever comes up. Did they stop talking? It's kind of hard to see where you're shooting because, you know, the witch gets in the way quite a bit. Also, your attacks always spring back to the center. So there's a look spring, um, which is, you know, not great for me, in my opinion. Star Fox is kind of like the, uh, the gold standard for rail shooter of this kind. And I'm um, not crazy about the look spring. Mm. 
You don't know how to play Space Harrier skill issue, Lamel. No, you're probably right. That's... It's fine, chat member. Chat member is right, correct. Okay, what if I say... <clears throat> I don't prefer this style of gameplay. Am I still skill issue? You're gonna answer yes. And I'm not gonna look at chat. And it's gonna be great. I bet the dialogue is really interesting, though. Like, I'm missing out on some good lore, and I, I feel really terrible that I don't know how, how to perceive the lore. <laughs> you don't know the joy and whimsy of being a Japanese witch girl on a broom. I know. I tried to open my heart to it, chat, but... Oni-chan wouldn't let me. I'm trying, though. I'm really trying. I just can't see what I'm shooting. Um, and I, and, and you know, the the, the... the controller just keeps springing on back. I'm being outsold by this game. Not at, like S-O-L-D, but you know. shame, too, because <clears throat> I was really enjoying the, the cutscenes. Trying to I shoot these things? What the fuck do I do? I think I have to shoot them. Also, you do have to press the button rapidly to shoot fast. You can't just hold the button. And there's no, like, charge shot or anything, so you, you just have to press the button a whole lot. It's fine. The game is fine. I, I don't love that I can't really see where I'm shooting. And the look spring is annoying because I'm not a gamer. Uh, and it's other other than that, it's, it's, um... This is the fourth anime I've ever watched. Uh, so chat, turns out frog inflation is not only real, but somehow we have frog sauced yet again. How does this keep happening? How do frogs keep randomly showing up? Even in unplanned frog segments, this whole night has been filled with frogs. Tea time? What do you mean, tea time? What's tea time? Okay. Well, isn't that nice? Also, we're just hovering. I'm, I'm assuming it's a strong wind. They shut up for tea and only tea. Look at all this lore. There's so much of it. I, I am... I think I'm good here, chat. I think we're good here. So, next is, um, it's only one more, I think. Hang on. Tokyo Bus Guide. Fulfill your childhood dreams of becoming a public transport driver. Game is like Crazy Taxi, but the complete opposite. Controls are the following. Got it. Okay.
I had dreams to be a witch on a broom. And I had dreams to be a driver in Tokyo on a bus. I also had dreams to play golf, but using a frog as a golf ball. So tonight is just a night of all of my dreams coming true. Saying Andros has taken over the galaxy. Only you can defeat him, Star Fox. We need you and your R Wings and your fantastic team of weirdos to defeat the evil Emperor. Oh, okay. It says here, Welcome to the town of Shibuya. This is where um, the, the famous chai tea of Hard Gay has come from Hadoge Fu. Got it, okay. I can, uh, yeah, I can, I watched a couple animes. I watched a couple in my day. I've watched enough Gaki no Tsuka to, to know at least a little bit about this language. <laughs> I've heard them say it enough when they get smacked on the ass. Also, there are people that don't know about Hado Hadoge, and that's a shame. That's a sin, in fact. Well, hang on a minute here. Oh, there we go. There we go, chat. There we... Oh. The game just tells you to retire. It just tells you, stop driving a bus, you're done. You can't hit a single car. Man. Very strict. Uh, the game froze. It lets you hit people with no problem. I don't know if the game froze or if the fucking game is loading or what, but it told you told it to save its saving. Oh. Does it take this long to save? What, what, is it, what is it saving? Did I hit one car? I see. Actually, I kind of like the concept of you hit a car and then the game breaks. Like you failed so bad, you just can't play the game anymore because like they're disappointed in you. I'll try again. This time I'm actually going to try to play the game for a minute. Again, because of this influx of like innocent games that turn into like analog horror, I see a character like that and I think he's going to sell me some furniture on, in a commercial. Like discount furniture mascot, 3D model. Is that a very small construction worker? Okay. That's a child? Why is he wearing a hard hat? <laughs> oh, now this is pod racing. You, you, 
kind of like have to obey the rules of the road here. Do you know those jokes about playing GTA by, like, following the traffic rules? This game forces you to do that. Also, I have to remember not to drive on the right side of the road. Which, you know, my whole life has been uh, driving on the right side of the road. Vinny, yeah, it's a bus simulator. That said, I've played, like, simulator driving games for, like, trucks and buses in the past that are not nearly as strict as that. So this game is going for, like, way more realism than I, uh, expected. Which is interesting. I'm just saying what's going on. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not, you know, saying it's a bad thing. This one is actually trying to teach you shit. Uh, yeah. This is for bus otaku, not average people, says a chat member. Did you- you really just said bus otaku, didn't you? I didn't use my blinker. Well, wait, wait a minute. How do you get a view of your bus in real life from this high up? That's bullshit. I couldn't- I couldn't see the fucking curb. There was a curb there? <laughs> oh man, alright. I'm just gonna keep the camera on the outside. I'm gonna try one more time, because it's getting late. I am very tired. Bus otaku is an actual thing, believe it or not. I know train otaku is probably a thing too, right? I weirdly watched a number of videos of um, a dude, some in Japan, some not, of just a dude just riding trains, like sleepover trains, like overnight trains, um, you know, and like it goes over the amenities and the various bus, the bus train stops and it's weirdly relaxing and really enjoyable to watch stuff like that. Which is not something I thought I would hear myself say, but, you know, sometimes things just come up on your recommended, and it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll watch that for a couple minutes, and then you watch it for an hour. Was it the one where the guy never talks? Yeah. Actually. I see what got me last time, it was that. Am I going over the speed limit? Wait, whoa, 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 what's going on? What's going on? I tried to find the reverse. You're braking too fast or accelerating too hard out of a stop. That's minus five. I keep, um, 
I keep thinking I have to drive on the right side of the road. I don't know what this game is talking about, but I trust you if you are my bus driver. Thank you, chat member. You should know. You should know that in real life, I am a driver. Was that, Jeff? Actually, Vinny is a really good driver, I gotta say. Now, I pay him to say that. We don't talk about the incident. Here we go. One more time. This is it, Chad. I'm gonna try real hard to, like, be a bus taco. I want to be the best bus taco that anyone has ever seen in Tokyo. Alright. <clears throat> Minus eight. So we're already <laughs> down. We're down quite a few points already. Minus five, because I, I started driving a little too fast. I don't know why I'm getting a minus eight. It's hard to correct when you don't know what the things are saying, but I'm trying. Eight without a table, <laughs> yeah. Minus five again. <laughs> oh, shit. You forgot to announce the bus stop. I think I passed it, but then I saw the sign and it was too late, and I thought that there was like a pit. Like, you know, on the side of, like, a, a NASCAR race, there's a pit. I thought there was a bus pit. So that's why I tried to, like, turn a little left into that. And I'm like, oh, that's the bus pit. They must have those in Japan. It's time for me to go to sleep, chat. It, it is time for me now to slumber because my brain is fried. Anyway, some interesting games. I actually do think it's kind of funny that uh you have to drive so precisely i also kind of think it's a little bit cool i could see myself getting into that if i you know if i first of all if i knew what i was doing wrong if the controls were a little bit more analog maybe like because you know the i don't think the the dreamcast had the best um the, the analog triggers didn't have what we have now right at the time like, you know how you can, like, do different degrees of pressure? Did they have pressure? They did? Oh, they do. Okay, I didn't know that. Well, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I figure someone's got to enjoy that game quite a bit. And maybe it taught them how to be a bus driver. And they're very happily driving a bus to this day. So, but other than that, the other games were uh, certainly games. And, um... A couple, couple in there that were pretty neat, and uh, a lot of, a lot of weird cutscenes. So I feel like my life has been somewhat enriched by all that. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great night. Wiggle it. I leave you with wiggle it. Chat. I will be streaming this week. We're gonna check out RZ, maybe Tuesday. I think. We're going to check out... I'm going to try to do card sauce this week with maybe some of the best, or at the very least, the, some of the cards I'm most excited about for a couple reasons. And uh, we'll continue RimWorld and Chrono Trigger.
I also have a lot of... <laughs> I have a lot of Steam Next Best demos. I'm trying to put together... It's going to be three videos of three demos each. So, tomorrow's the last day, right? Like... I get, <laughs> what's wrong, chat? Um, so chat, no, uh, Next Fest is, is, I still have to, tomorrow, to play the games, right? Like, they're not gone yet, the demos. I think I have one more day, so I, there's three more games. You have, like, 11 hours? Ah. Well, I hope I manage. All right. Well, that's it. That's the stream. Um, so see you soon, and uh, good night. And if I get a chance to play Helldivers, I'll also do that. But I'm, I'm going to be focusing on RimWorld and Chrono Trigger. Goodbye. Thank you. And thank you for the subs, if you did, and the follows and all that shit. Very nice of you. Good night, everyone.